everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spiritual Superpowers. Today we are going to go over a video that we shot down at the Ace restaurant in Toronto. And if you remember, we were sent a picture of uh, the ghost photo bomb, and we'll include a link to that episode right here for you to take a peek at that episode after this one. And we just went back down there to reassess the area, see if we could pick up any more information and then see if we could actually get inside and maybe talk to the owner, which is what we got to do. Yeah, and we also, uh, while we were there, we tried to tune in to the ghost, if you will. And we were able to do that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so um, we really feel like we were able to tie up a lot of loose ends mm -hmm. with regards to this ghost photo bomb. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of unanswered questions last time, right? There was. Yeah. You know, what happened was after we um, posted that episode, people from the area kind of started to see the episode and they started to make comments and that sort of thing. And the belief was that this ghost was the owner of a Chinese takeout restaurant that was there formerly, maybe in the 60s or 70s. Mm -hmm. And her name was Mrs. Lee. But then you got the name Maggie. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to tune in to this ghost and ask, are you Mrs. Lee or are you someone different? It was interesting because then also um, she had talked about a dog. The message that when I asked her if she had anything to share, she really wanted me to reach out to this, this guy with a dog and that the dog needed to change its food. Right. Um, yeah, there was something and the, the owner didn't realize it was the food. Right. That's what it was. Yeah. Right. Today, you're catching us outside of Ace. If you remember, we did a video um, about the ghost photo bomb. We're here with Trent. Now, Trent is a fan of the show. I am. And uh, he saw the episode with the ghost photo bomb. He also lives in Rossville and he visits Ace regularly. So, we've come down here to talk to Trent and visit the, the restaurant um, and, uh, and kind of give you uh, an update on everything that we've found out about that, that wonderful photo of that woman in, uh, in Ace from the two women that were here uh, about almost a year ago. From what I understand, you saw the episode and then you went on a Facebook group and typed yeah. that something about what had happened and tried to get some information. So what, what did they respond with? Yeah, so, I, I, so Ace is a great restaurant, been here many times, um, and sadly during COVID it closed down. And they announced they're going out of business, which was really sad. The whole neighborhood was quite upset about that. And then, luckily, um, the current owners bought it last year and have kept kept Ace and have, have, have resurrected the restaurant. Um, so anyway, so I watched your YouTube video um, about the the episode here, and I posted on a local Facebook group we have just for the community, and. There was a huge reaction to it. There was like dozens and dozens of comments, like hundreds of likes. Um, it was just very, very interesting. Um, and that's where um, some people came back and said, yeah, they remember um, some things that have happened here. So this used to be a, a, a like a, a Chinese restaurant a long time ago, I think before the Ace. I think that a long, long time ago, it was a diner back in the 40s. So I think it's been here for, for a long, long time. Also, that, because uh, one of the names I picked up on was Maggie, and turns out the original owner that was here when the girls were here is Maggie. Yeah, so... And then the new owner is also Maggie. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I knew Maggie, the previous owner, because I've come here fairly often. You know, I knew um, And then just strange coincidence that the new owner also So, um, Karen and I are the ones that did the, we tuned in to the ghost, so the woman who I tuned into told me the name Maggie. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Karen had picked up on the name Ace. Okay. Or Anne, for Anne, we figured it was meant to be Ace. Did you find that this place has any type of weirdness going on, or? 
But maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, maybe yeah. yeah. That's a beautiful I, I think you're late at night by myself and I don't know, I think I, I told people that I randomly would get like smoke smell, like cigarette smell. Yeah. Um but I think that only on that has been it. Well, I can yeah. definitely, it's so funny because the, the original story is that the girls, they just love your bar and I can yeah. see it because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so, it's so classic, I love yeah. it. Um, and then when you scroll into the picture, that's yeah. when you see that there was actually... That, that's what's my wife, yeah. yeah. So what you'll find is that what we're doing is very boring. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to get ourselves then kind of clear our mind so then we can start asking spirit questions. Spirit, are you resisting the Chinese restaurant in this space beforehand? I got yes. I got yes as well. I was kind of just <laughs> like, oh sorry, yeah, it would be yeah. I wanted something like really grand. Like, but it was yeah. Yeah. Was no, another story. Yeah. But okay. no, it does seem like this is it I got and that right away. to be honest, I could actually smell Chinese food. Oh, good. So, oh, good. as okay. much as I didn't want it to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. Yeah. You want the real story here. I think another question we want to ask is why she's still here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. And while Don's tuning in, what happens when you ask these questions? The answer almost comes to you as you're finishing the question. That's how you know it's an answer from spirit versus your own mind kind of coming up with an answer. So for me, I got, it just makes her so happy. She just, she loved being here in front of the restaurant and she just makes her happy to be here. It does, and I also feel like she's not quite, I feel like she's so invested in here that she almost feels like if she's not here, something bad will happen, or um, it won't be it won't be the same as or taken care of taken or, care of the same. Or yeah, like she feels like she makes it what she, it is. She feels ownership still yes. of the place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like she needs to be here to keep it alive. And going. You know what I just got in my head. To keep the boys in line. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I actually kind of got that. just popped in. And <laughs> so you know, again, when those things randomly start popping in there, there's a message from us. Yeah. Here. So to keep the boys in line. Yeah. And I, it, it comes through so strong, though, how much she just loves, like, this place. Mm -hmm. and, um, and she loves the neighborhood. She loves her memories here. And, yeah, she's definitely not ready to let go of it. She's so interesting. Should we try and tell her that you know, it's not the best place for her to be and that there's somewhere else that she needs to be? So let's tune in. What we're going to do is we're going to let her know that, you know, being a discarnate being isn't really ultimately what any of us want. We want to help her uh, cross over fully and um, you know, start her, her next life or whatever she's meant to do other realm. Alright? Yeah, so that now. One, something that I find helpful when trying to help someone who's really happy being where they are to help them transition is, uh, and what I'm using with, with Mrs. Lee is um, asking her what she needs in order to feel like this place will be taken care of. Like what, what does she, yeah, what does she need to feel comfortable with that? And then also remind her of her loved ones waiting for her on the other side because um, as I just did that now it it was a click there where she almost yeah. forgot I I did the same mm -hmm. more on I just get right to the loved ones on the uh, other yeah. side and I got a, a nod like she's like yeah mm -hmm. you know like yeah it's not that she's needed here she's needed there too yeah she needs to remember that so uh, what I, I think I want to for, you know, for her benefit, just see if we can help her transition. Yeah. I'm getting that she's not. I have a feeling that there's something still... I want to find out if there's a basement to this place. 
Well, the other thing I want to find out too, because I think, um, remember last time you connected, she wanted to know someone had a dog mm -hmm. and she had a message for them. I think she needs to get that message mm -hmm. sent first. Now, we should let her know, though, that we can still relay those messages and she can still communicate her desires, even when she's on the other side. She doesn't even have to be, you know, stuck here on this right. Yeah. So, do you want to ask her about the dog? Yeah, yeah. Or, so, getting a better look at the dog, so at least I can describe the dog a little bit better. She has a lot to say, like it's... She has a lot of messages that she wants to relay. Well, that's what I got. She said there's so much more than yeah. just the dog. Yeah, and I mean, so. she had originally brought me and, like, showed me down a staircase. So that's why I want to know if there's a basement in here. Because there was something else that she wanted to talk about when it comes to the building itself. Like, almost if there's some kind of repair that needs to be done. Um, and we can ask maybe the current owners so that the staff here has a dog. Right, yeah, yeah. when we go back in, yeah. Let's just ask. I think it might take a few more tries to get her over crossover because even when you bring up the family members again, she she doesn't think that they need her. She feels yeah. needed here. So one thing when we go back inside is I might ask the owner if he would be okay if we continue to get messages from her to just pass them on yeah. to him. Yeah. Um, and that would probably make her happy. Yeah. So it's all about a negotiation. Now when I think back to you and I tuning in, you know, I got the short A name, mm -hmm. you got the Maggie name. So that wasn't anything necessarily to do with her, but I think what she was trying to do was telling us which restaurant it was and who owned it mm -hmm. so we could understand where this place was. Because at the time we really didn't know. Mm -mm. We found out later from the person who had the picture where the restaurant was and it was the Ace restaurant in Toronto. Mm -hmm. So so I think initially when we tune in because we weren't there, we were here and we tune in and she was trying to let us know right. what restaurant it was. That's right. And then then the messages. I think we found out she's stuck on this side because she has a lot of messages that she wants to deliver. Mm -hmm. And I really, one being the dog. One being the dog. Um, the other, she just really comes across as someone who feels so responsible to make sure that everything is run properly, like yeah. make sure everyone's having a good time, everyone's happy, and the place is taken care of. Like she and feels, the boys are the boys are in, in line. line. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was, so she's really tied to that like responsibility. And um, one of the other messages that came through when we tuned in was she showed me a picture of a staircase and going down the staircase and then around the corner and seeing that there's a wa there's water damage. So we went back in to see if there was a basement. 
Yes. And as we went in, we just so happened to see at the far end a gentleman carrying a box down down some down stairs. Down stairs. <laughs> yeah. So we asked the owner right then and there, you know, do you have a basement? And is there a water issue? And he said, sure enough, there is. But anyway, it seems that she really wants, I think, them to do well. So I, I think she was, she's been trying to be very helpful. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to her um, that this this restaurant does well, which is kind of amazing. Yeah. Yeah, she clearly loves the neighborhood, loves the space, loves people. Yeah. I was actually talking to um, a friend on that day. Later on, um, I went to visit a friend, and it's his favorite restaurant. Mm. So I was telling him how we had just gone down huh. and, and kind of <laughs> did a recap to our original Ghost Photobomb episode. And he said that when she was there running the Chinese restaurant, that it is the exact same interior that she had. Oh, so the wallpaper. The wallpaper, the the booths, yes, all of that is apparently the same interior as when she owned it. So you're talking about attachment. She could just also like she is very like there's a lot of her there that it makes it easy for her to be here connected. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, we do want to help her cross over, but she seems hesitant until <laughs> you know we deliver the messages that um, that she's interested in conveying. But I tried to tell her, you know, you can still convey these messages from the other side. But, you know, it's funny when when we haven't fully transitioned, it may be hard to understand that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think eventually if we can make her see that the space and the, the neighborhood and the customers are well taken care of, then she will feel comfortable enough passing the baton and then passing mm -hmm. on herself. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I guess we could we could thank our viewer Trent for yes. for uh, taking it upon himself to reach out and contact the new owners yes. and post it in post the video in his neighborhood Facebook group. And I guess thank you to the owners of the Ace Restaurant too for being accommodating and letting us talk to him. And um, yeah, they were great. Yeah. And we also had lunch there. Yeah, it, it was, was really good. good. <laughs> I'll be going back for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it was so, really good. We'll go back to talk to Mrs. Lee and have mm -hmm. some lunch. And yeah. We'll yeah. go there, back there regularly. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So have a great day, everyone. If you um, haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe. Then you won't miss an episode on this ongoing saga of the Ace Restaurant. <laughs> so subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video if you liked it. Mm -hmm. All right, so until next time, have a great day.